yes, I'm doing a video about my personal view, another video, and you, you know, this one topic, right, been, been like, people always talk about Trump is a racist, and my topic, I'm gonna I'm do it as, go into whether it's Donald Trump is a white supremacy or not, because we know he defended white supremacy in Charlottesville, we know for a fact he, he has said open thing about he'll support David Duke, and the thing about Trump is, right, I believe he got, I believe he had white supremacy tendency, but I don't know, I don't think he's anti-black or anti-Jew, like most of these white nationalists, because they want, see, the problem is, see, what made him popular among white supremacy when he came out and said Mexicans were bringing rape, and he wanted to do a Muslim ban, especially Mexican, and, and right there, and this is stuff, and these white supremacists knew he more like he probably wasn't an anti-Semitic or anti-black, but they were trying to tap into a lot of his supporter who had the anger, hoping they could get them, they get a lot of his supporters into their group for for they can build their group up and make more money and get a name for themselves. That's why they were showing about his rally during the campaign and stuff. And and even so, Donald Trump, right? He supported the white supremacy shot of bill because because they they like they white winger. They got some racial tendency. They don't want they don't want a multicultural America, but they'll chant Jews will not replace us. It, but which Donald Trump kids is his, his son-in-law is Jewish and his grandkids is Jewish and his daughter converted to it. And he gave Israel Jerusalem, and he had did some things for blacks like like Jack. What was it? I don't know, what was the former boxer back in the early 1900s, the early 20th century. I mean, who has, I mean, he, he signed, I mean, he, he did some executive order, he signed clear his name. This guy had been dead for years. I think he had ran out of America or some shit about white women. And, and Donald Trump said that he's a big supporter of blacks. And so, I, I, I mean, he, I mean, I believe he don't like Hispanics. I don't believe he like Muslims. He, he, either quote, he didn't ban Saudi Arabia. I definitely believe, he, he definitely don't like gays. And he definitely like think women should be in the place and they place, because Donald Trump, he actually believe in a good old boy club. He's one of those good old boys from the old days. I mean, because he's a 20th century guy who believe in a good old boy club. And, and, and see, you see, like, see, what white supremacists want is they want a reputation. A reputation, what they wanted, they want a world leader who, I mean, in a country which is who are actually they can meet and actually can speak to white other world leaders about white issues. They want a reputation because they hadn't had a reputation like that in a long time. Like I said, Hitler wasn't a white supremacy, but they had governors who was that way. They had U.S. presidents back in the day was that way. They had like like leaders in probably in Canada, Australia, that way in South Africa. We know about apartheid, and what they want is a reputation. That's what white supremacy want. They want a world leader who they can actually can meet and speak to, and and spread spread their white supremacy ideology, hoping they can speak to other world leaders about it. Because if you're a leader of a country, regardless, you can meet any world leader you want to on the earth. Look at Donald Trump. He met with the North Korean leader. He couldn't have did that if he wasn't a president. He couldn't have met with Kim Jong Soon if he wasn't the president of the United States. And that's one thing about a world leader. No matter what country you have as a world leader, you can meet with any world leader on the earth. Do diplomat talk. And see, that's a, and see, that's what white nationalists want. They want a reputation where a white leader who's in the government, like something like a Hitler, but Hitler wasn't a white supremacist, somebody like that, who they can actually can meet. Like, cause these white supremacists, they jealous when they saw guys like Farrakhan met with Qaddafi, Saddam Hussein. They jealous when they saw Dennis Rawson meet with Kim Jong Soon. They jealous when they saw like uh, Jesse Jackson had met with Castro. Farrakhan met with Castro too, and met with the leader of Serbia back in during the Bosnian War. War, a uh, war. I mean, can't get it right. I mean, but. and see what white supremacists want is they want to meet with some of these world leaders. They they want a white leader who they can be, who can be their guy, and who can speak to other white leaders about white national issues and shit. See, they know Donald Trump is ain't that guy, because if Donald see Donald Trump would have been the president. If he would have been using the N word or denying the Holocaust, and the reason why he can easily could say stuff like anti-immigrant, anti-Muslim, because Fox News 
had ran the same stuff. The media had did that. Look at you, Don. A guy on CNN 10 years ago, he was running anti-illegal immigrant conspiracy 10 years ago on CNN. And that's why it was easy for him to say some of these writers about gays, Muslims, and immigrants because of the media had ran a lot of conspiracy. But this guy wouldn't have got no media cover if he'd have been denying the Holocaust and using the N-word. And, and I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't believe, I mean, because white nationalists, they hate blacks and Jews. Blacks and Jews is the top enemy who white nationalists hate. Because they, they, they hate blacks and Jews way more than they hate immigrants and Muslims and gays. That's what they main focus on. And Donald Trump ain't their guy for it. And David Duke was running. He wasn't running. He, he didn't want to be a senator. He just wanted to get his fucking name out there. All of them was trying to get their fucking name. That's why they were showing him at a lot of those events during the campaign time. Because they were trying to get their fucking name out there. David Duke was running for senator. Not to become a real senator, but to get his name out there. He hoped that more people would hear about him. More people could go to his site and they can ascribe to the bullshit he's writing about Jews. And blacks. Cause David, cause David Duke then David Duke don't give a fuck about white people. All he doing is wanna fill his fucking pockets up. Many of those other white nationalists too. But they got Confederate fucking statues and shit up. And Cause these white nationalists worry about fucking Europe and shit. And they worried about all this stuff. Hey, I mean, they got they got a lot of nerds talking about Europe gonna become about Islam, and then they came over here and fucking Christianized the Western world, killed off the indigenous. That was another thing they did. <clears throat> I don't, I, I mean, I mean, Donald Trump got some racist shit. He got some racist in him. But he emboldened these people to come out open what they want to normally do. I mean, by really come out open. I mean, by Donald Trump. But I believe the Russians, the Russians, I believe they hacked in the election. They got something on him and his kids. They got something on him and, and, and on his kids. See, Donald Trump is playing A to Russia. But Russia got plan B, plan C, plan D, or plan E. Because if something happened to this guy, whether he get assassinated or get a peach, whatever, or, or he just resigned, Russia got other plan. He just plan A to Russia. And I believe Russia's ultimate goal is they want to fucking dissolve the United States. Because why? Because they can dissolve the United States. They want to get the fucking oil. They want to get the nukes. They want to get control of this region. Them in China and Saudi Arabia and Mexico. And that's why you got me like this. America is just a tipping point, a tipping enemy point. I, I forgot what the word I'm gonna say when I was thinking before I made this video. But Russia right fuck fucking wars going back to a thousand fucking year. Russia is a fucking thousand year old country. They fucking fuck enemies for centuries, and those enemies didn't last long. A lot of those enemies don't even exist or either we. And Russia know America is just a passing by bus. Cause they, cause I bet you Russia might, they might survive, they might outlive America. See, cause Russia ultimately go there, they want to dissolve the United States. Like it was, like they want to dissolve, like the Soviet dissolved, like when the Soviet Union dissolved and shit, and they was going around talking about the shit about Reagan fucking won the Cold War. Reagan won the Cold War. Reagan didn't run shit. He didn't win shit. That's why he win the fucking Cold War. He didn't win shit. I mean, Gorbachev told about there was going to be a civil war in there between him and Nelson, uh, Yeltsin. But the Russian, they ultimately go to, they want to fucking dissolve the United States big time. And 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 they and, and the reason why I said that is like the fact that because they want resources. They want to be more power. And could could actually could could America? I believe America could dissolve between 2024 or 2025. I mean that that's what I believe. I don't know because you never know what the future of this country gonna be. Cause this country is already fucking divided, division. People don't trust each other. Chaos. All type of shit going on in this country. All type of shit. <clears throat> 